Hey everyone, Ash here, and let's go talk to Edna Strickland for a little bit. Uh, Miss Strickland? Jack! Diane! I know what you're doing behind that tree! Yes? Alright, let's ask about her shoe. Do you remember when you lost your shoe? Shoe? That shoe over there. Oh, that shoe! Huh. Hi, what a nosy Nelly! No one likes a busybody, you know. But... Oh, fine, let me think about it. Uh... Yes, I, I remember. I, I lost it in a scuffle with a, a dog. <gasps> when was it? Oh, yes. The day that speakeasy burned down. <laughs> a speakeasy? In Hill Valley? Don't act so surprised, young man. Your generation doesn't hold a copyright on moral depravity, you know. Yeah. Sin has been on the prowl in Hill Valley since the day it was founded. I think it's pretty funny that she she calls Marty a busybody and yeah, she's she's staring at the window looking at looking at everybody seeing what they're doing. Anyways, an illegal speakeasy, huh? Wow, a speakeasy. That must have been wild. Is it true they used to drink gin out of slippers like my grandma said? Don't romanticize the past, young man. Prohibition was a time when gangsters ruled the town while honest citizens quaked in their beds. Alright, so where was it? So where was it? That speakeasy that burned down, I mean. That was ages ago. If you're looking for bootleg hooch... No, I I'm just curious, that's all. I'm a, a student of history. Student of history? My Aunt Fanny! Yeah, your generation of hooligans and slackers could give two ripe figs about history. Miss Strickland? Oh, video store! Huh? The speakeasy used to be hidden in plain sight down there in the town square. Right where that disgusting videotape rental store squats today. So the video store building must have gone up after the speakeasy burned down. The following year, as I recall. Now, uh, now that will be useful later. And, uh, well, yeah. And actually, yeah, let's ask about all these newspapers. What's with all these newspapers? This is my personal archive. I've got every issue of the Hill Valley Telegraph ever published. Get out. Every single issue? From 1871 to the present. If it happened in Hill Valley, you'll find it in my stacks. Okay, maybe, th maybe these newspapers can help us. I guess somewhere in these stacks there must be an article about the speakeasy burning down. Naturally. Yeah, I probably wrote it myself. I was quite a reporter back in the day. Any idea what date that article came out? Well, obviously the day after the speakeasy burned down. Well, that was no help. Of course, uh, yeah, she's, uh, yeah, she's obviously the kind who's not gonna help us. At least not here, anyways. And let's ask about her binoculars. Doing some stargazing? No, I set my sights on the lower things. Is that? Chip Cannon! Get away from that hubcap before I call your father! Alright, so we're done with her for now. Don't let me keep you from your business. So, maybe we can look through the newspapers. Don't touch those! My newspapers are in pristine condition and meticulously organized. Not about to let some street punk get jam all over them. Okay, we can't do that while she's uh, in the room. So we'll have to get her out of the room. 
However, I'm I'm gonna interact with, with a few more things in the room before I do that. I mean, first with these trophies. What are these? My editorial trophies. Cat Lovers Quarterly. It's legitimate journalism. I didn't even know they gave out trophies for best litter columnist. All right. And let's interact with the pictures a little bit. <laughs> Is that Vice Principal Strickland? Mother never could keep little Gerald out of her clothes. <laughs> Marshall Strickland. My grandfather. Gunned down by Mad Dog Tannen over a hundred years ago. That's not how I remember it. Yep, and he should know, because he was there. And finally, one last look at the pictures. Jeez, they all look like they've got sticks up there. What's that? Nothing. Yeah, and if you keep looking at the pictures. Jeez, they all look like they... What's that? Nothing. Yeah, so, uh... Okay, what about the cat bowls? Maybe we can win there, right? Oh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Miss Pretty Whiskers is very particular about who handles her food. So, uh... Well, Miss Pretty Whiskers? Well, it's kind of odd. You don't see a cat in here. I guess she's hiding. And anyways, we need her. We need to look through these newspapers, but we can't deal with her with her in the room. So how do we get we get her out of the room? Like this. Man, she keeps it hot in here. That's the kettle. I'll be right back with some tea. Then don't touch anything. Watch this, I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna touch all her newspapers. Juveniles collide with manure truck. <laughs> nice picture. Brown mansion destroyed. 1962. No, no, that's not where Doc's stranded. All right, Einstein brought me this shoe and Miss Strickland lost the shoe on the day the speakeasy burned down. But when did the speakeasy burn down? I at least need to know the year. Firm announces plans for Lone Pine Mall, Peabody Ranch to be rezoned for commercial development. I don't even know where to start looking for clues in these stacks. Wish I could narrow it down to a year at least. Clint Eastwood plunges to death on runaway train. I don't even know where to start looking for clues in these stacks. Wish I could narrow it down to a year at least. October 28th, 1985. Authorities still mystified by Maul's shootout. I don't even know where to start looking for clues in these stacks. Wish I could narrow it down to a year at least. October 28th, 1985. I don't even know. All right. Now, if you're wondering why I was quiet through all of that, because those were all references to the movies, and I just kind of wanted you to hear them all. Anyways, we need to... Yeah, that's peculiar. The water still hasn't come to a boil. Yeah, we needed to wait for Miss Strickland to come back in here. So, uh, what we need to do now is we need to ask to use her binoculars. Mind if I take a look? Go ahead, dear. There's the video store. There's Biff coming out of the video store. And there's the date. Rebuilt in February 1932. So the fire must have happened before then. But when? I need a date. Don't look at me. I'm far too old for you. Ew. Anyways, we maybe we could go maybe we could go and ask someone else. So let's try let's try leaving. I'm not leaving until I find Doc somewhere in those newspapers. Oh, never never mind. If you actually tried leaving, if you actually tried leaving while uh, I can't remember. I think it was before all you get all the information, Miss uh, 
Miss Strickland would uh, prevent you from leaving by uh, blackmailing you by telling telling that she'd tell her brother brother uh, Vice Principal Strickland and that sort of thing. I kind of miss that deadline. Anyways, now that we have the date from the uh, video store, we need to get her out of the room again. Actually, there is some something I need to look at though. Uh, Miss Strickland, about your tea. Uh, you forgot to turn on the. You! It's spelled with a U. You illiterate vandal! Yeah, she won't. She won't hear you. That way, you won't. Uh, that way, you won't run being able to get out of the room. Anyways, let's go over here and turn it on the radiator one last time. There's the whistle. Surely the water's boiling by now. And let's go interact with the newspapers again. Let's see. Ground broken on site of former speakeasy. Singer vanishes. Hill Valley Expo delights crowd. Soup kitchen exposed. Here we go. Speakeasy arsonist slain. Legal procedure gave way to old-fashioned vengeance last night when a mob descended on the Hill Valley Police Station. The suspect in the speakeasy arson case, a drifter known as Carl Sagan, was pulled from his... Carl Sagan? It's Doc! Killed by a mob. What's the date? June 14th, 1931. Jeez, I gotta rescue him. My newspapers! Sorry, Miss Strickland. Uh, let no! me. No! You've gotten my history out of order! Oh, do you know how long it'll take to fix what you've done? Oh, get out! Attacked by hooligans! Yeah, being attacked means be knocking your newspapers out. And Marty's ready ready to head to 1931. Fill up the DeLorean there. Marty! Where you been, son? And what are you doing in that getup? And I think I'll be able to say let me check and see. Ah, excellent. Because, uh, yeah, I'm going to end it here, but when we come back, we're heading to 1931. Later.